Boom, shaka naka 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 How's it go? Shaka laka 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 Shaka na 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 Shaka kaboom kab I'm gonna leave that alone Good morning, Double R Radio Here we are, Wednesday morning 38 degrees happening right now in San Antonio It's mucho mucho frio outside Hey man, it's cold out there <laughs> I love it I really, really do Right now playing uh, Who's playing? Mickey Gilly Stand by me Off of the course Urban Cowboy soundtrack Let's go live You know, I think I've seen Urban Cowboy, the movie, at least 500 million times. I mean, I simply love that movie. I can see that movie over and over and over and over again. Good morning, Double R Radio, Wednesday morning, 38 degrees happening right now in San Antonio, cloudy skies. Uh, where are we at? 10.03 February the 23rd, 2022. And it's not going to get warmer. It's going to get colder outside. That's a good thing. I like this weather. I really, really do. Earlier, I made myself two bacon and egg with some cafecito. And like I said, normally when I'm cooking, I like talking to my food. I got the frying pan. Frying pan. Okay, let me heat up the comal right here. A couple of tortillas right there. Okay, let me get let me get a couple of slices of bacon. Oh, babies, you're going to be delicioso. Lay on a couple of slices of bacon right there. Flip that baby around a couple of times. It's sizzling. You can smell the bacon in the air. Two, three, my neighbors call me. Hey, Robert, are you making breakfast? Make me a taco. Click. Right, hang up on them, right? Somebody else calls. Hey, Double R, are you making breakfast? Make me a taco. I can't hear you. Bad connection. Click. Right, I'm going to mess with them. So the bacon's done now. The tortillas, I'm flipping them over a couple of times. I'm making some cafecito. Then I'm going to get the lankyito, crack one eggy. Oh, man, you're going to be so good. Crack a second eggy. Then at least you also crack a third eggy. There we go. Scramble it around a little bit. Tortillas, flip them over so they don't burn. Then I start making the taquitos. I put the vanquito in there. I put the bacon under. Got the coffee ready and everything. Sit down and watch what I've been watching lately in the mornings. The Waltons. Woohoo! You know you're getting old when you're watching The Waltons, right? <laughs> You know you're getting old when even the grandma looks good to you. Yes, I will leave them in. I tell you what, if I take her out for a couple of beers, she'll be mine for at least an hour. There we go. You know you're getting old when even the grandma looks good to you. Well, anyways, there we are, man. Make myself a mean breakfast. And uh, that's what it's all about, even more so, man. Breakfast always seems to be a little bit better. The cafecito, a little bit better. The taquitos, a little bit better when it's cold outside. You know, got that cold aviance. That's what it's all about. It really, really is. Good morning, John. I got out to my buddy, Mr. Leroy Lujan. There's a Valle de San Luis, Colorado in La Casa. He said, buenos dias, carnal. A snowy day in Colorado. Hey, dude, I picked up a couple of people yesterday downtown San Antonio, actually from the airport. They were flying in from Colorado, and they said they were eager to get away from all that weather, all that weather, should I say, and get to some warm weather here in San Antonio. And lo and behold, over here, man, 38 degrees. But we're not going to get snow like you guys over there. But it's all good. We'll take some of this weather. It's good stuff. It really, really is. Good morning, Chad. I got out to my primo. Roger Reavers, good morning, primo. How are we doing? So anyways, here we are Wednesday morning. Let's see what the hell's going on. Check this out. Crazy story. San Antonio, Texas. A chihuahua was stuck in a storm drain on the corner of Blanco and Hildebrand. If you're familiar with San Antonio. For five hours, they had fire trucks out there, an EMS truck, the SWAT team was out there, a Michelob Ultra beer truck was out there, all over a chihuahua that was stuck in a storm drain. Are you serious? I mean, if they were looking to get the chihuahua out of that drain, it's simple. Just buy some Drano. No, that wasn't funny. Wasn't funny whatsoever. You know, if they could give you a million dollars, do you think you could spell Chihuahua? Really, really, think about it. Have you ever considered spelling Chihuahua? I'll lay you odds you can't do it. I can do it because I practice it. But Chihuahua is a very difficult word to spell. I'm going to help you out. C-H-I-W-A-W-A. Chihuahua. <laughs> there you go. Is it the correct uh, spelling? No, but does it really matter as long as you understand what I'm trying to spell? 
That's all that matters, right? Anyways, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to Gonzalez, Texas, and La Casa, Mr. Sean Zambrano. Good morning, brother. How we doing? Anyways, also, good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to Double All Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. I was just talking about this a while ago where a former Wendy's employee, you know, Wendy's Hamburgers, posted a video of roaches in the kitchen, in the Wendy's kitchen. You know, while they're cooking the burgers and the fries and all that. Roaches were running around on the wall and the floor and stuff like that. And, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you imagine being at the drive through window waiting for your order and you see roaches running around? Roaches are waving at you. It's like, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I know you. I went to high school with you. Right? Would you take off? I mean, if, if I hadn't paid, I'm at, I'm at the window at Wendy's. And I'm seeing roaches running around. <laughs> I don't think I would stay. I'd say, hey, dude, do I get a discount? Because there you have roaches inside. The, 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 is there any kind of a discount? And uh, I don't know if they would give me a discount or not, but I know I would take off. That's for damn sure. I wouldn't be hanging around there. Good morning, Chad. I got to Anthony Hernandez. He said, good morning, Roberto. Good morning, Anthony. How we doing, brother? There we go. You know, um... Yesterday, I was going to heat up a little portion of beans and a Tupperware bowl, and I opened a microwave, and no lime. I'm telling you, man, I get a little baby roaches here and there once in a while. I don't know where they're, where they're coming from, but um, I could have sworn I saw a little baby roach took off running inside the microwave, like trying to run for me. I said, oh, see, sí, cabrón. So that thing went inside the microwave, I closed it, I set that baby at two minutes, and I said, if you can survive that, I'll leave you alone. So I set it for two minutes, and I waited okay, a minute, minute 15, and I can hear. I can hear the roachy, help me, help me, a uh, minute 30, minute 40, help me, dial 911, help me, minute 45, minute 50, it's all quiet, it all got quiet, two minutes, bing, I open the door, I'm looking around. Uh, no, Roachy, I, I guess he disintegrated. Do I feel sorry for him? No, he had no business going in there in the first place. Stupid Roachy, did he want me to call 911? I don't think so. Anyways, let's see what else is going on here. You know, ever since um, I was talking about my washer and dryer um, needed to be fixed, which it got fixed. Ever since then, on my internet, I keep on getting advertisements on washer and dryer technicians. How do they know that I needed help? Are they listening to my radio station? What's going on here? Did you know that if you buy a hamburger, it's always healthier to eat a sesame seed bun than regular bun? I didn't know that. Does it really matter? I guess it does matter. Those sesame seeds are considered healthy for you. Forget about the two patties, two cheeses, lettuce, tomato, torpedo, but the sesame seeds help you stay healthier. Okay, I, I guess. I mean, I mean, I don't know too many places nowadays that have sesame seed buns. I used to know a girl that had them, but we're not going to go there right now. This is a family show. Well, do, ba, do, 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 do. Now, San Antonio, Texas. The San Antonio Defense League is claiming that there are dogs available for adoption. To go in there and uh, you got to uh, apply to adopt a dog. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to go in there, apply, write out name, address, phone number, credit card information, all that why go through all that 20 minutes of of, of uh, applying to adopt a dog just take a drive man there's plenty of loose dogs running around just grab whichever one you want come here yeah puppy puppy and get him in the car it's over he's yours there you go you don't have to fill out anything right man there's plenty of loose dogs out there man who wants to go over there and apply to get a dog i don't think so you know, um, they were showing, um, they were showing, um, they were showing this, the clips, uh, uh, 
what do you call them? Is the I'm a loss for words here, man. They were showing on ESPN. Um, <laughs> like I'm a loss for words here. You know, they were showing uh, reviews. They're not reviews. They were showing replays, uh, clips of the All Star Game, the NBA All Star Game. I didn't even know the All Star Game was going on. How, that's terrible, man. I'm totally out of it with basketball. I really, really am. I don't even know who, you know, what players are on the Spurs anymore. Only Coach Greg Popovich and the Spurs Coyote. Crazy, man. It really, really is. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. We get to go. There we go. Good morning, Chad Aganata. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. Also, Star Reyes, Seguin, Texas, in La Casa. He said, good morning, honey bunny. There we go. Um, La Estrella thinks she's, it, it's Easter right now. It's not Easter right now. Uh, let's see here what else is going on. Let me see what else I can find for you guys, if anything. Let me see here. Bam, bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. You know, it's funny, man, that, you know, it's not even football season, and they're talking about the Cowboys. They're going to make a trade. Who cares? They're not going to be in the playoffs next year anyway. Who cares? I'll be pulling for them, but they're not going to be in the playoffs anyway. I don't want to hear about the Cowboys right now. I really, really don't. Anyways, do, 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 do. you know, um, there is a documentary on um, Disney Plus, okay? Disney Plus, there's a documentary that I was told about, about the Beatles. That if I like music, check out Disney Plus. That way you can see the documentary about the Beatles. And I was like, um, I don't have Disney Plus. But I know how I can get it illegally. Sometimes I'll fall back on getting it illegally. I don't like doing that, but if I have to, I have to. So I'm going to try to find other ways of seeing this documentary on the Beatles, which is supposed to be really, really awesome. But if I don't find other ways of seeing this documentary legally, I'm going to have to watch it illegally. You know, by the way, speaking of illegally, yesterday I was driving around doing my thing and I got one of those ring doorbells. And while I was running around, somebody rang my bell. Uh, so did my prom date back in 78, but we're not going to go there right now. Somebody rang my doorbell over here and um, I was trying to answer it on my phone. I could see who was here and I couldn't figure out who it was. And I was right by the airport, right by where I live. And I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can catch these guys, see what the hell they want. So after passing about four red lights and running over a dog and a cat and hitting the mailbox, I finally got over here and I didn't find anybody here. I'm not saying they were trying to break in or anything. I was just curious to see what the hell they wanted. Maybe they were here to make a donation to Double R Radio. I really don't know. So uh, I'm really hoping to come by today. I want to see who in the hell they are and what they want. True. Really, really true. Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's do something by Patrice Rush. Let's go back to the year 1984. Good morning, Double R Radio. How are we doing, everybody? Wednesday morning it is. Nice and cold outside, but I'm nice and warm in here. I already had my coffee, my breakfast taco. I'm good to go. Let's get back to the morning show. YouTube viewers, good morning, everybody. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't by now. And, of course, you can always join me on my morning show, 9.30 to 12 noon, Tuesday through Friday, my Cruising Classic show from 7 p.m. all the way to 10 p.m. There we go. Let's get back to the morning show. <laughs> 